Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to this series of videos Learn Arabic Through Short Stories for beginners with English subtitles and with no background music. Marhaban, I'm Radwa, the founder of ArabicBlooms.com. I make these kind of videos every week. Subscribe if you haven't already to be notified every time I upload a video. I was testing a couple of things in the previous stories from 1 to 10. What's working and what's not. And with your help and requests, I'm creating better videos now than before. And I want them to keep getting better. So don't hesitate to comment below. If you have any ideas or if you have a question, I would love to help. Thank you so much for being here and for your encouragements and engagements. Thank you. In this lesson, we will learn about 27 Arabic verbs. With some of them, I will give you examples in every tense. Some of them you already know if you are following me from the beginning or if you joined the Arabic grammar course. If you haven't already joined the Arabic grammar course, the link is in the description below. Okay, today's story is interesting. It's about a lonely old man who owns a treasure and decided to leave his treasure to a complete stranger after he dies. Find out why he chose that person in this story right now. Hayya nabda. Salim wal kanz. Fi qaryatin saghira. Kana hunaka rajulun ajuzun. يعيش وحيدا في بيته الكبير وذات يوم سأل نفسه لمن أترك بيتي وأموالي بعدما أموت وفي صباح اليوم التالي جمع أهل قريته الصغيرة وأخبرهم أنه جمع أمواله في صندوق ودفنه وسط المزارع فمن وجده فهو له أسرع الجميع وبدأوا يحفرون حتى يجد الكنز مر خليل ببقرته أمام العجوز سليم فناداه العجوز قائلاً لماذا لا تبحث عن الكنز المدفون يا خليل مثل باقي الناس فقال لا حاجة لي به قال العجوز متعجبا هل تملك كنزا يا خليل فقال خليل نعم أملك الرضا وهو بقلبي وليس بمكان آخر ابتسم سليم العجوز وقال أغناك الله بفضله يا خليل وبالليل ذهب العجوز سليم إلى بيت خليل حاملا الصندوق وقدمه إلى خليل قائلا تفضل هذا هو الكنز أنت تستحقه ولذلك أعطيك كل ما أملك وأعطيك بيتي الكبير أيضا بعدما أموت قال سليم هكذا تعرف أن من يملك الرضا يأتيه الخير إلى باب بيته سليم والكنز سليم is the name of the old man و and الكنز the treasure في قرية صغيرة في in قرية village صغيرة small village so قرية is a feminine word صغيرة is also a feminine word and صغيرة is an adjective في قرية صغيرة قرية first and then the adjective في قرية صغيرة in a small village كان هناك رجل عجوز There was كان هناك رجل عجوز رجل is a man عجوز 
old man. So here again, the adjective is عجوز. رجل first, and then we describe رجل عجوز. The adjective is عجوز. رجل first, and then say عجوز. يعيش وحيدا في بيته. This old man, هذا الرجل العجوز, يعيش, he lives, وحيدا, lonely, في, in, بيته, his house. بيته الكبير Also الكبير is an adjective بيته الكبير His big house وذات يوم One day سأل نفسه So سأل means asked سأل نفسه نفس Self And نفسه himself So he asked himself لمن To whom This lamb means to and man means who. So, لمن, to whom. أتركو, I leave. بيتي, my house. و, and. أموالي, my money. بعد ما, after. أموت, I die. So, how many verbs we have here? We have كان, this is in the past. كان, the past is كان. The present is يكون مضارع يكون and أمر command is كن كان يكون كن كان محمد قويا محمد was strong يكون لن تكون قويا you will never be strong إلا إذا unless مارست الرياضة you practiced sports or you play sports كن قويا كمحمد be strong like محمد so here we have كان in the past and تكون in the present and كن in the command tense يعيش this يعيش is the next verb we have here it means lives he lives so this verb is in the present tense عاش is in the past يعيش in the present عش command عاش lived يعيش lives عش live command عاش وحيدا he lived lonely عاش في قرية صغيرة lived in a small village يعيش وحيدا lives lonely عش كريما the next verb we have here is سأل سأل means asked. This verb is in the past. سأل means asked. So سأل, the present is المضارع هو يسأل. سأل يسأل. مضارع يسأل. And the command is اسأل. So سأل نفسه. He asked himself. يسأل غيره. اسأل نفسك. Ask yourself. لمن أترك بيتي. The next verb we have is أترك. So أترك here is in the present tense. The past tense الماضي ترك. مضارع يترك. أمر أترك. So now you know ماضي means past. مضارع means present. And أمر means command. So I say ماضي ترك. مضارع يترك. أمر أترك. ترك البيت. He left the house. لمن أترك بيتي? To whom I leave my house? أترك البيت. Leave the house. بعدما أموت? The next verb is أموت. I die. The past is مات. Present يموت. Command مت. I will say this again in Arabic. ماضي مات. المضارع يموت. الأمر مت. So far we have أعيش. The opposite of أعيش is أموت. So we have opposites here. We have أعيش. The opposite is أموت. I live and I die. We have صغير. The opposite is كبير. Like في قريته الصغيرة. في قرية صغيرة. This is small. And بيته الكبير. كبير is big. So صغير. Small. كبير. Big. So we have opposites here. We also have the pronouns, the attached pronouns, بيتي or بيتي. 
Baytihi means his house. Bayti means my house. We also have Amwali, my money. We have Nafsahu, Sa'ala Nafsahu, himself. These are all attached pronouns. This ha attached to the end of the word is a pronoun. Bayti, Baytuhu, his house, Bayti, my house. We also have adjectives like Ajuz, Kabir, Sagira. We say the word first and then we describe or use an adjective. And this adjective follows the word in everything. So, Rajul is masculine, Ajuz will be masculine, old. Bait is masculine, Kabir will be the same. Qarya is a feminine word, village, and Sagira will be feminine. The masculine word from Sagira is Sagir without this ta marbuta. وفي صباح اليوم التالي So, وفي in صباح morning اليوم the day التالي the next In the morning of the next day جمع أهل قريته الصغيرة جمع means gathered So, who gathered? الرجل العجوز سليم the old man سليم جمع أهل قريته So, أهل here the real translation for this word ahl means family. But here ahl qaryatih, the people in his village. Ahl qaryatih, the people in his village, they are like his family. So he gathered them, ahl qaryatih sagira, his small village. Wa akhbarahum, and he told them. So wa, and akhbara, told, akhbarahum. So before akhbarahum, he told them. أنه, that he جمع, collected or gathered أمواله So first we learn أموالي My money Here أمواله His money في صندوق في in صندوق A box ودفنه and buried دفنه This ها refers to the box دفنه buried the box was in the middle of المزارع the farms فمن من هو وجده find it فهو the box له to him the one who finds the box will take the box وجد find this ha refers to the box وجده وجد الصندوق فهو له so the box will be for him okay so far we have جمع the verb we have أخبر we also have dafana and wajada. These four verbs that we have here. So jama'a, collected or gathered. Jama'a is in the past. Jama'a asdiqa'ahu fi baytihi. He gathered his friends in his house. Yajma'u arrajul almala fi jaybihi. The man gathers the money in his pocket. Ijma' al fakiha fi sunduq. Gather or collect the fruits and put them in the box. Jama'a, maadi, past. Yajma'u, present. Mudari' ijma' amr, command. Akhbara, the next verb we have is akhbara, told. Akhbara, that's maadi. Yukhbiru, mudari' akhbir, amr, command. The next verb we have is dafana. Dafana. Buried. Dafana. Yadfinu. Idfin. So now you know the drill. I will say past and then present and then command. Wajada. That's past. Found. Yajidu. Find. Jid. Find. Command. Now I want you to, to use these verbs in sentences. The verb akhbara. The verb dafana, the verb wajada. Let me see your sentences in the comment section. Asra al jamia. Asra, they hurried. Asra al jamia. Al jamia, that means everybody. Wa, and. Bada u. They started. This wa and alif at the end, the verb is bada. This wa and alif at the end of the verb is wa al jamia. This is a pronoun used to refer to the plural. And it's used with verbs. Bada'a, that's one person. Bada'u, that's plural. So they started. 
يحفرون digging also this well and noon is the same يحفرون this well الجماعة بدأوا يحفرون now you notice بدأوا this is in the past يحفرون is in the present حتى until يجدوا الكنز يجدوا they find also we learned this وجد before يجدوا الكنز the treasure until they find the treasure well in this sentence we have بدأوا we have يحفرون and يجدوا these three verbs بدأوا is in the past now the past tense بدأوا is always will be the same the plural will be بدأوا will never change the past with plural will, will look like this بدأوا and if you're going to use uh, وجد it will be also وجدوا and this alif is written it's not pronounced it's just written with waw al jamia but yahfurun and yajidu these two verbs are in the present tense these verbs are in the present tense with waw al jamia with this waw so sometimes it will end with noon sometimes they will end with alif and as i said before this alif is not pronounced so yahfurun yajidu يجدوا is supposed to be يجدون like يحفرون but because it came after the word حتى it became يجدو this grammar rule is called الأفعال الخمسة so now we have the verb in the present tense with well الجماعة sometimes it ends with نون sometimes it ends with ألف not pronounced Okay, so here يجدو it's supposed to be يجدون but because it came after the word حتى it became يجدو مرة خليل مرة passed خليل the name is خليل so مرة he passed خليل ببقرته with his cow so بقرة is cow بقرته his cow أمام in front of العجوز the old man سليم فناداه العجوز فناداه called him العجوز called him قائلا saying لماذا why لا تبحث why don't you look for تبحث عن الكنز لماذا لا تبحث عن الكنز المدفون يا خليل مثل باقي الناس so لماذا لا why don't you تبحث look for تبحث عن الكنز the treasure الكنز المدفون here from the word دفنة remember the verb دفنة means buried الكنز المدفون the buried treasure يا خليل خليل calling him خليل مثل like باقي الناس the rest of the people فقال so he said خليل لا حاجة لي به I don't need it so this is a phrase that you can use لا حاجة لي به Now let's go back مرة is in the past مرة the present يمر command مر مرة المدرس أمام الطلاب يمر المدرس أمام الباب مر من هنا pass from here The next verb that we have is ناداه So نادى is in the past called يُنَادِي in the present نَادِي command the next one is تَبْحَثُ تَبْحَثُ that's in the present tense so the past is بَحَثَ looked for or searched for بَحَثَ the present يَبْحَثُ command إِبْحَثُ you know the next verb is قَالَ قَالَ in the past يَقُولُ present قُلْ command قال العجوز متعجبا قال the verb said قال العجوز the old man said متعجبا was surprised he was surprised and said هل تملك كنزا يا خليل هل do you own هل تملك do you own كنزا a treasure يا خليل فقال خليل so خليل said نعم yes أملك الرضا I own satisfaction or I have satisfaction وهو this رضا this satisfaction وهو بقلبي in my heart وليس 
بمكان آخر and not anywhere else ابتسم سليم العجوز ابتسم smiled سليم the name of the old man العجوز the old man وقال and said أغناك الله بفضله يا خليل May Allah reward you and bless you يا خليل This is a phrase, this is a prayer that we use أغناك الله بفضله And the meaning of this phrase or this prayer is that May Allah give you everything and make you don't need anything from other people أغناك الله بفضله يا خليل وبالليل and at night ذهب العجوز سليم ذهب العجوز سليم سليم went إلى to بيت خليل to the house of خليل حاملا carrying الصندوق the box وقدمه and gave it or presented this box to خليل إلى خليل قائلا saying تفضل here you go so this is another phrase تفضل تفضل when you give somebody something you say تفضل if this is a man that you're talking to or تفضلي تفضلي if you're giving this thing to a woman تفضل to a male تفضلي to a female هذا هو الكنز this is the treasure أنت تستحقه this is a phrase another phrase you deserve it أنت تستحقه you deserve it you can also say you deserve أنت تستحق or أنت تستحقين ولذلك that's why أعطيك I give you كل ما أملك everything I own وأعطيك and I give you بيتي الكبير my big house أيضا too بعدما أموت after I die so here how many verbs do we have we have ابتسم we have أغناك ذهب قدم تستحق أعطيك أملك and we've learned the verb أموت before so ابتسم is in the past ابتسم يبتسم مضارع present ابتسم so ابتسم الولد أبتسم كل يوم ابتسم للآخرين أغناك الله بفضله يا خليل this is a phrase that you can use this is a prayer that you can use also the verb ذهب ماضي مضارع is يذهب أمر اذهب so ذهب يذهب اذهب ذهب العجوز إلى بيت خليل أذهب إلى الجامعة كل يوم I go to university every day اذهب إلى العمل الآن Go to work now قدم Also is a verb in the past tense قدمه قدم يقدم قدم قدم نفسك Introduce yourself أنت تستحق You deserve تستحق استحق ماضي يستحق مضارع استحق أمر the next verb is أعطيك يعطي this is, this is in the present tense أعطيك So أعطى ماضي يعطي مضارع اعطي أمر Another verb is أملك that we have learned before أملك I own in the present tense قال سليم قال said هكذا تعرف أن من يملك الرضا The one who owns satisfaction يأتيه الخير الخير that means goodness يأتيه comes to him إلى باب بيته To the door of his house باب means door بيته his house So here تعرف is the verb in the present tense تعرف الماضي منه is عرف يعرف That's the present اعرف that's command tense. And also يأتيهي يأتي أتى past يأتي in the present إأتي in the command tense. سليم والكنز 
في قرية صغيرة كان هناك رجل عجوز يعيش وحيدا في بيته الكبير وذات يوم سأل نفسه لمن أترك بيتي وأموالي بعدما أموت وفي صباح اليوم التالي جمع أهل قريته الصغيرة وأخبرهم أنه جمع أمواله في صندوق ودفنه وسط المزارع فمن وجده فهو له أسرع الجميع وبدأوا يحفرون حتى يجدوا الكنز مر خليل ببقرته أمام العجوز سليم فناداه العجوز قائلا لماذا لا تبحث عن الكنز المدفون يا خليل مثل باقي الناس فقال لا حاجة لي به قال العجوز متعجبا هل تملك كنزا يا خليل؟ فقال خليل نعم أملك الرضا وهو بقلبي وليس بمكان آخر ابتسم سليم العجوز وقال أغناك الله بفضله يا خليل وبالليل ذهب العجوز سليم إلى بيت خليل حاملا الصندوق وقدمه إلى خليل قائلا تفضل هذا هو الكنز أنت تستحقه ولذلك أعطيك كل ما أملك وأعطيك بيتي الكبير أيضا بعدما أموت قال سليم هكذا تعرف أن من يملك الرضا يأتيه الخير إلى باب بيته Thank you so much for watching and learning. Keep it up. Keep learning Arabic. And as long as I live, I will be here guiding you, helping all of you. Just ask and let me know your problem. What is your biggest challenge that face you in learning Arabic? Leave a comment below. Let me help you. Let me know your problem. Shukran lakum jamian. Thank you all. Ila liqa'in qareeb. See you soon. السلام عليكم